Well, hello there. This is my first track day at MSR Crescent at the 1.7 mile track. This is the first session after round robin. I'm working with uh, instructor Doug for the first time. I'll be following him for one lap. He'll follow me for one lap. We'll pit in for feedback. Gotta be very careful here when we're pitting out as it puts us immediately on the race line. So let's uh, follow Doug here. I'll point out some of the things about this track. Like right here, there's a big dip right here that uh, when we're coming fast, we actually feel it. And then over here, it's also very bumpy going to the right side of the track and then we have to take our time to actually move over to the left because it's very very bumpy as we follow Doug you'll notice that he likes pointing to the the cones on left handers using his hand There he goes. This is a nice sequence of uh, three uh, left turns. Very fun to make it. It was also good for me because since I have some somewhat of uh, some sort of difficulty making left turns on this track, I could actually uh, practice that a little more, which was nice. We're just about done turning one lap around the track. Now Doug waves me by. We'll go through a section of the track called the Rattlesnake. And it's a very tricky section. Those are our elevation changes. It's a series of S's. And kind of tricky. If you mess it up going into it, then the whole section is messed up. Later in the day I got more comfortable uh, in this track and uh, I definitely started going faster around it but at this session again it was the first one after round robbing so I was you know going very you know, being very conservative just trying to make sure that I was on the line on the proper line uh, here this fellow rider was offline and this is one of the things that instructors will evaluate to see if, like in this case, I would be paying attention to the rider in front of me and then following him or her. And I actually you know, stayed on, on the proper line, which was good. And, you know, just taking it easy, easy finding, like right now, a better way, a better place to make the pass. Going through the turn that's called the uh, Big Bend, right here. And Doug goes by, indicates that we are pitting in. Let's follow him. This entrance to the pit area is uh, the slowest corner in the track. So, gotta be very careful there. So let's hear his feedback. That's pretty good. Your pace is good. Uh, one thing I don't know—you heard me when I was uh, doing the 
talking about coming in the rattlesnake over there. Okay. You gotta hit that first right hand corner head on. And then I noticed through the rattlesnake you're doing a lot of extra riding in there. Right. It's unnecessary. Okay. And it starts right at that official right hand uh, entry. Okay. So other two. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait up front for my other two riders. You're welcome. You're welcome to, to, to ride on your own or you can wait for me and fall in behind the other riders. We're going slower than you if that makes any difference. Okay. But for the most part, your, your lines are pretty good. Okay. So, Great. Right, I'll work on that. Thanks, man. All right. That's good. I mean, not too long ago, the main feedback I'd always get was lines good, body position not so much. <laughs> Uh, or something along those lines uh, you know this is just my first free session at the track and my line is already you know good for the most part and my body position didn't raise issues so that's progress um, also good to know that my pace was faster than the other two riders uh, following us even though I wasn't pushing you know at all at this point so hey you know I'm proving yay <laughs> 